Today we come to you, O Lord, with mixed emotions. Every day I think about what happened at my store. And I mean, I cry every day on a regular basis. Although we have mixed emotions, one thing that we do know is that we are better together. Thank you for those who stood outside of these fences with tears rolling down their eyes, praying for the families of those who've been affected by this massacre. Let the hopeful healing waters flow, ushering in a rebirth of our sense of self. This is the day where we declare that hate did not win. Today, family, we reclaim this space as ours. Yes, this is our store. This is my neighborhood. I'm so glad they saved the store. I'm so glad they Absolutely. rebuilt the store. I'm so glad they kept the store here in our community. Thank you that the spotlight on Buffalo has not been about how we tore up our community, but how we came together to rebuild our community. This is not the end of the No, this is just the beginning. We pray that this building will be the beacon of light in our community that shows that we are Buffalo strong. This community is unmovable, unshakable, steadfast, because they are Jefferson strong, East Buffalo strong, Buffalo strong, and they will win. Good morning to you at 6.30 on the start of this Friday. Thanks so much for being with us live outside Tops on Jefferson Avenue, where for the first time in two months and one day, that fencing, that exterior, exterior temporary fencing has come down. Uh, and we are standing, really, Taylor, on what is hallowed ground. We've been here so many times. We were here that day. We've been here over the course of the past two months, standing on the surrounding areas with other people as they cried and tried to take all of this in. But this is momentous. We're standing here in the park parking lot as this store is set to open in just a couple of hours. You can feel the momentum building, the bittersweet joy, as we say, uh, because here at 9 o'clock this morning, the store is expected to reopen for the first time in two months and one day. But it is not, of course, without the memory of the 10 people who were shot and killed here and the three others who were seriously hurt. The fences came down, but the memorials are still here. Tops leaders say they've worked to create a much better store for this community, opening as quickly as they can to to serve this community. And when you walk into the store, you'll find a poem on the wall written by Poet Laureate Jillian Hainsworth and two waterfalls symbolizing healing waters. Top says 75% of the workers have decided to come back to work here. And of course, that includes Jerome Bridges. And Jerome is here with us this morning. Jerome, good morning to you. Good morning. You were inside the store on that day, uh, two months and one day ago. How are you feeling today? Feeling great. I mean, I'm still sad. I'm still hurting. Um, it, it pains me to walk into this store and don't see those 10 familiar faces I'm used to seeing coming in here doing their grocery shopping. This is your first day back to work with the public coming in. What are you expecting today as you head inside for the first time? I know it's going to be joy and it's going to be sadness. It's going to it's going to be negativity, but you got to look past that and try to move on because this store is not going nowhere. We need this store in this community. The senior citizens need this store in the community. You have been steadfast in your belief that you were coming back to work today uh, and, and ready and willing to be here. Why was that so important for you? I mean, I'm one of the nicest associates that works in this store. I try to help everybody that comes in this store all the time. Even the ones I don't like, I still help them as well. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, and that's yes, the spirit sir. of Buffalo, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you hoping for as we move forward here, Jerome? Um, I'm hoping that we could get majority of our customers back. We, we want the customers to come back. You know, we, they did a lot of security measures. Um, we want our customers to feel safe coming inside the store. Back. That's the main focus. And Jerome, I wanted you to turn around so you can show everyone what the back of your shirt says. Uh, and Alex, our photographer, if you would, all one, Jefferson Strong. Jerome Bridges, thank you so much for being with us. We certainly appreciate you. And our hearts are with you and your coworkers and wish you nothing but peace as you walk in here today for the thank first you. time. Thank you, Jerome.